Well, I, I mentioned I think it's a very smart offense. I watch what he does. And, again, I study defenses is what I do because of teams that we played last year because I call – I run the offense or work with the offense. So I would see – Ball State all the time because they would be going against the defenses. But great utilization of the tight ends. They get the running the running game. They get the most out of the running game. It's, I, I just think it's a it's a great execution of what I would say in, in, of not overcomplicating your offense, but executing it very very well, and not just utilizing your 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 your, your stretched out uh, edge receivers, but also your tight ends and your running back with with it. it just and I, I just I watch. I don't know whether you say getting the most out of what you do or, 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 or being very smart in how you do it, but it's quite ob- obvious that, that Pete understands his offense and understands what he wants to do with it and, and how to run it. I truly believe they're one of the most well-coached football teams in our conference. And, you know, I think it shows up. They, they never beat themselves. They, they do a great job situationally throughout the football game. And, you know, I, I just I have the utmost respect for them. You saw it two years ago when we played them out in Muncie that they were getting better, you know, and, and had really made great strides. And then certainly last year with the, how they got off, you know, early in the season and really can sustain that throughout the year. I, I, they're just uh, they're such a good football team. They're so well coached, and they got a great quarterback who, you know, really fits their system extremely well. They're they got so much better on defense, and really were were disciplined and sound defensively. And you know, they do got playmakers. You know, at running back, they got playmakers at wide receiver that kind of aid the ability of the of the quarterback. But uh, a lot of credit goes to Coach Lembo, quite honestly, and his staff because I think they do a great job of putting their positions and or players in great position to be successful. Ball State has one of the classiest guys in college football. I absolutely love Pete Lembo and his wife, Jen. Um, we spent some time together in Arizona, and we had a blast. My wife and, and Jen got along, and Pete and I, I tell you, he is the easiest guy to talk to. I mean, out of everyone I've met, he is so easy to talk to, and he's been a good soundboard for myself in terms of turning a program around. You know, winning, he's just a good quarterback, you know, and then I can't remember the running back's name, but he's, he's a great athlete, too. And It was a great team last year, and they definitely – definitely did some damage you know I've watched him a lot I've watched him uh, on the few occasions he did get hit or maybe throw an interception come right back I think he's steady I think he's smart I think he's a very very good thrower uh, I just really really admire the way he plays quarterback he is a stud quarterback that is hard to defend Ball State I would have to say it was one of the best teams we played last year in Mid-American Conference um, you know they gave us trouble it's a tough play tough place to play out there at Ball State and um You know, the defense gave me trouble. Very athletic, very fundamentally sound, you know, flies to the football. Um, Like I said, you guys were up by, I think, 10 points in the third quarter, really had our number, and, you know, we scored really late in the game. So, I mean, you you guys returning a lot. You guys got a great quarterback coming back, and Nathan Ali at defense, and, you know, you guys are one of the teams that give us most trouble every year.